Hello guys, Imanuel here. Today, I'm going to talk about a new version of the Substance Designer GIF Maker. This version is a lot more stable and easier to use. It also has a new way to create GIFs based on animated parameters. So let's get started. In order to install the plugin, download the plugin version 2.00 or greater and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Showless GIF. Copy it and paste it in the Substance Designer Plugins folder, usually located in your Documents, Algorithmic, Substance Designer, Python, SD User Plugins. Now, to verify it is working, let's open Substance Designer, go to Tools, Plugin Manager, and we should be able to see the plugin enabled. If it is not enabled, just click the checkbox and restart. We should also be able to see a new window called Show Local Gift Maker. If it is not visible, go to the Windows menu and enable it. Now with the plugin installed, it's time to start creating GIFs. There are two main ways of creating GIFs. The first one is image-based, which is the same as we did in the previous versions. The second one is animation-based, in which you can create a GIF based on one or multiple animated parameters. Let's begin with the image-based. First, we set the name of the file name. We can either click the arrow button to get the current graph name or write our own. I'll write image test. Then we have an infinite checkbox. If enabled, we'll append at the end of the GIF all the selected images in reverse order, allowing a perfect loop, as you can see in this example. Then we select the duration of each frame, I'll select 0 0.1, and the number of times the last frame will be repeated. I'll leave it at 5. With all the settings defined, all that remains is to add images that will be part of the GIF. We can add one by one, or select many nodes at the same time and click the Add button. To remove them, we just need to select the image and click the Remove button. And to organize them, we can just use the Move to Left and Move to Right buttons. We can also zoom the image size if we need to. Let's select the images that I actually want to use for this GIF. And finally, click Create GIF and select Output Path. And the process will start. Once the GIF is ready, a success message will appear. So let's go to the Output folder. We can open it quickly by clicking on the Folder button. As we can see, the GIF is working. Now let's check the animation type. Again, we need to set the name. I will write anim test. I leave the infinite disabled this time. Then the frame duration, I'll set it to 0 0.1. And the number of times the last frame will be repeated. For this one, I'll select 0. Next, we need to select output node by selecting the node that we actually want to get rendered and clicking the arrow button. I'll select the PBR render node. Then we define the number of frames we want to use in this animation, I'll select 10. And now it's time to add the parameters. To add them, just select the node and click Add Parameter. Then we select the parameter that we want to keyframe, set the start value and the increment per frame that we want to use. We can add multiple parameters, and they can be from different nodes. Let's clear this and add two parameters of the PBR render, the rotation and the scale. I'll start the rotation in 0 and increment it in 0 0.1 and the scale start at 0 0.1 and an increment of 0 0.1. Now before we click create GIF, it is important to notice that the output node needs to be connected at some point to an actual output node, otherwise the animation will fail. So let's create a simple output and connect it. And then we can click create GIF. We select the output path.
and as we can see, the end result is working. These new two methods of creating GIFs gives us a lot of flexibility and an easier way to show off the materials and shapes we create in Designer. Well, that's all for now. See you next time. Goodbye.